speaker and to my honorable colleague, the Minister for Tourism, I, I, as, as he will know, as a former tourism industry operator myself, as my, my childhood, I'm passionate about this industry. And I, I know that they are still hurting. The, the tourism sector has been walloped. There are, you know, obviously other service sectors, restaurants and so on, as the honorable minister will know. But I want to ask him specifically about the ground transportation sector. Our regional bus lines have been asking whether maritime bus in Atlantic Canada or Wilson's bus lines out here in BC, they have their coach lines for the most part. He'll know that the big bus companies like Greyhound have left British Columbia. Most Alberta, there's an Alberta coach companies are also privately owned. We need federal government funding support to maintain ground transportation. And I wonder if he has any thoughts on, on how that agenda is moving forward. The Honorable Minister of Tourism. Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my honourable colleague for her devotion to the tourism sector and to this particular issue. And let me just say uh, to begin that through the pandemic, we invested $15 billion in Canadians and businesses in the tourism sector. And the, the critical importance of C2 legislation passing in December uh, was also extremely important, $7.2 billion and an extra 4.5 in reserve in case we needed it. And as we've seen, we do. These supports are critical because you're right, the tourism sector has been walloped. It's important that we work together to your particular issue. It is an active conversation. There is uh, a jurisdictional issue with the federal government and provincial territorial governments. And so I'm happy to get back to the honorable colleague on this particular question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.